So it sounds like the cancer diagnosis really changed everything. I lost half my hearing, you know, and then on top of this, and then visually, uh, yeah, yeah, it changed everything, everything of life. Two years ago, Yvette Smith was diagnosed with throat cancer. It started with a sore throat, as I'd been a smoker for many, many, many years. Uh, and so at first I didn't pay much attention to it because as a smoker, you, the sore throat is not uncommon. I had saw doctors a few times over that period and was given antibiotics and it, it, it kept getting more painful. But it wasn't actually until June that um, I had started to have trouble swallowing. I was lucky enough to be sent to Dr. Peter Stafford and he diagnosed it right away. Soon after her diagnosis, Yvette was told her vocal cords had to be removed, and because of this, she would lose her voice. I have a little box, a little tube inside, with my tubing and this little like, filter, uh, enabled me to make sounds through my voice prosthesis. That is actually what you're hearing, because I no longer have vocal cords. Before she knew it, her whole life was turned upside down. It was scary. I'm actually kind of glad it happened as fast as it did, because I did not have a chance to worry about the outcome. Everything changed. I couldn't go back to work. I'm still not currently working. I no longer breathe through my mouth and my nose. It's all through my throat. Anna Maria Buer is a palliative care social worker. We go along in our lives and we have our sort of our balance and our rhythms of the stresses. And then I believe that when people hear the word cancer, everything changes and that nothing is the same. And that perhaps that is one of the most scary words that we ever hear. I still believe that even in the face of life-threatening illness that there can be hope. And so for me, it's helping people find out what their own individual hope is and what that looks like. Working with community members who are facing life-threatening illnesses, Anna Maria says providing quality of life for patients is the most important, and that's where Saskatoon's Hope Cancer Help Centre comes in. And currently uh, looking to go back to work. Probably not my previous job, but that could all change now again due to the Hope Cancer Clinic. I'm very excited about that. Uh, they have been generous enough to purchase a hands-free for me. I believe that hope is one of the most important things for the patients, and for each individual patient, hope looks a little bit differently. What the Hope Organization has done is allowed those families who have worked hard their whole entire lives and sort of gone along and then illness has struck and changed things for them. So hope has been a way of providing support in a tangible way. So what I've really found is that they have met those small concrete pieces that have provided quality of life. Working for over 30 years in the health region, Yvette has not been able to return back to work due to sanitary concerns regarding her prosthesis. So the Hope Cancer Help Center offered to buy Yvette a hands-free device. I would not have the quality of life that I do have now if it were not for the help that I've received from here. I, I can't say enough how grateful I am for everything they've done for me to, financially and actually emotionally. Yvette will be fitted for her new device in the near future and is looking forward to getting back to a routine. I'm a cancer survivor, just learning to adjust and live with it. But I am two years cancer free as of this past December, so I'm a I'm really happy about that. that. That's exciting for me. To learn more about the Hope Organization, visit HopeCancerHelpCenter.com. For Go Saskatoon, I'm Janella Hamilton. I know I'm anxious. I'm anxious to get it.